Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Honors Convocation on this Monday, April the 26th, 2021. Almost time for graduation. This is my favorite time of the school year because it's all about the students. It's about student uh, excellence, student achievement, and student success. So sit back and relax as you watch these amazing students come across your screen. Every year we honor achievement, but this year is particularly impressive because all of you who are receiving awards have gone beyond, have achieved excellence, even in the midst of great challenge. Uh, this pandemic has been difficult on all of us, and I wish even now that we could be together to celebrate these honors these achievements that you've made. And we're looking forward, hopefully, uh, to next year when we can be in person. But I think it's important to say to you that your achievement in the face of great challenge is even more valuable. And today we honor those achievements and we wish you all the best. We think that this achievement that you're being honored for is just the beginning of what will be a life of achievement. Honors that will come to you, but will really reflect that you have done great things in the world, not just for recognition, but for the sake of those who live in it and for a better world. And so we're very excited about who you are and how you've been able to achieve in your particular area, but we're even more excited about what this will mean for the world and for your future. Thank you and God bless you. Settings like this, and I get to make an award right now. And my award goes to a person who has been an outstanding scholar, an outstanding student through four years of school, who will be graduating soon. I am presenting the Bill Burke's English Award, which goes to the English major who shows the greatest academic achievement within his or her group and shows promise for a future career. The award is named in honor of Bill Burks, who was an English professor here and a drama coach for 32 years. And so it's kind of fitting that we're in this setting. I have pictures in old yearbooks of Bill standing in front of the stage coaching students. So that sort of fits that we're here. So this year's award, typically it goes to an English senior, usually a graduating senior, if we have someone in that class who fits the criteria. So this year's award goes to an outstanding student, Anna Hazlett. Good morning. My name is Brant Harwell, and it's my privilege to give the Willie Mae Stanfield Stone Award for composition to an outstanding student who I've had in 101 and 102 this year, Miss Abigail Beasley. Abigail has shown not just competency but excellence in a wide variety of writing subjects, uh, both uh, in the nonfiction world and writing about uh, the literary world. And she's done an outstanding job. Thank you so much. Congratulations. This, this uh, also comes with a small stipend as well. Congratulations. I am Dr. Gene Smith, and I direct the sport management program here at Martin Methodist College. And we're here today to recognize outstanding achievement. And senior Emily McNeil earned the Student Achievement Award for our Sport Management Program for the 2020-21 academic year. Emily is someone who exemplifies uh, all that this award is about. She is co-vice president of the Sport Management Society. She was a major contributor to our book drive for the Boys and Girls Club of Pulaski. She is a sport management major with a minor in business while being a scholar athlete as a member 
of the nationally ranked women's soccer team here. Emily is someone who has career aspirations to work with the Special Olympics. And I want to wish her all the best in the future. The Henry Belford Research Travel Award is given to a student in any major who has shown an outstanding perspective for field research. The award is dedicated for Mr. Henry Belford, my dad, um, and he was really instrumental and responsible for introducing an interest in marine biology in my life. I simply got on his back and rode the waves. So, this award is dedicated to a student who, as you know, you never flown internationally or visited a coral reefs. And then you showed very successful completion of research in the lab as well. Uh, this is only the second time the Henry Belford Travel Research Award has been awarded, but you stood out in the midst of other undergraduates and represented Martin Methodist as well. Although you were not in your comfort zone, you simply rode the waves of international research experience without hesitation. So this year, the Martin Methodist College Henry Belford Research Travel Award goes to you, Brady Tyler. Thank you. It also comes with a stipend. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, it does come with a Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. When I teach you this. My name is Dr. Gregory Brown, and I'm an associate professor of business and economics in the D.W. Johnston School of Business. Each year, we award the Business Administration Award to a worthy student that has shown outstanding scholarship in the major. This, year, this year's recipient of the Business Administration Award is James Truelove. Congratulations, James. Hi, I'm Dr. Justice McAdoo. The D.W. Johnston School of Business Emphasis Management Award goes to Chastity Cornwall. Chastity was selected based on her tenacity, her leadership, and her near-perfect GPA. Congratulations. Good morning. I am Dr. Alice Perkins, and I am presenting the award for the D.W. Johnston School of Business Accounting Major. This award is given to the student with the highest GPA in the program. The recipient of the award is Dakota Crow. Congratulations, Dakota. Guys, we've got a class going on. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to come in and videotape them for a few seconds. Um, before we get started, um, I actually want to bring you guys' attention to a little something um, Normally we have an honors convocation um, and we're not going to get to do that in person so we're doing things a little bit different this year and we're actually presenting our awards in different capacities. So I actually have someone in here who is getting an award for the honors convocation and this is the Dr. J. Maurice Roberts Perspective Teacher Award. So it's in recognition of someone who's got um, outstanding academic achievement um, in EDU 101 that shows signs of becoming a really good teacher. So guys in here today because we are going to present that award to Miss Cassandra Sims. So congratulations. Thank you. Hi, I'm Laura Moorfield and I'm the Program Coordinator for Human Performance and Physical Education. I am so excited today. We're about to present two students with some awards that they do not know. Um, so first we're gonna have the Outstanding Human Performance and Exercise Science Award and this is given to an exercise science student who achieves high marks in the classroom. And we also have the Royce Hughes Physical Education Award and this award goes to the physical education major who has shown him or herself to be an outstanding student and advocate of physical activity. Um, this award is voted on by the full-time faculty and we cannot wait to give these to the students. Hi! Hi. I'm so excited! Hi. So, this is oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. We have a couple awards. You know, awards, uh, honors awards are going to be a little bit different this year. So first, I'd like to give the Royce Youth Physical Education Award to Erin Freeman. Okay. Oh, yeah. That surprised me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, exercise Science Award for the Outstanding Performance in Exercise Science, Nicole Shirley. Wow. Okay, Shirley. Thank you. Represent I love you for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Love the boys. Okay. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Nan Wakefield. I'm an associate professor in the MIS program in the business division, and it is my honor today to award the D.W. Johnson School of Business BBA Management Information Systems Emphasis Academic Award to Eli Chrisman. This award is based on GPA. Eli has the highest GPA of anyone in the program. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Oh, this is for Dr. G. Word for being excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, on behalf of the uh, English division, we're handing out a couple uh, speech awards. This is from last semester, and this one goes to uh, Hannah Headley. So come up, grab this. Congratulations on behalf of all of us. You did awesome. Thank you. Oops, let me go back on that. <laughs> Congratulations. Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Chi. I'm an assistant professor in biology, and I'm here to present an award today to Haley Sandusky. Uh, she, Haley is a graduating senior in biology, and we're presenting her with an award for uh, the Outstanding Research Biologist. Uh, her, Haley has worked really hard on on her independent research project over the course of four semesters and she's preparing to defend her honors thesis uh, at the end of the week. Uh, this is just, I think, a cap in a long list of achievements. Uh, Haley is also going to present a poster this June at the World Micro Forum uh, and she just won uh, two awards that I should mention. Uh, she was awarded a scholarship from the Society for Applied Microbiology in Britain uh, at the beginning of the year. Uh, that will pay for an eight-week uh, research assistantship for Haley post-graduation. Uh, she also just won an award from the Kentucky, Tennessee um, ASM, the American Society for Microbiology. Uh, and that was for a presentation that she just gave this past Saturday. And she did very well in a field that was crowded with graduate students as well as postdoc researchers. So great job, Haley. This is a recognition of your efforts and we wish you all success as you move forward towards graduate school. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Chi, assistant professor in the biology department. And I am presenting an award today to Erica Sakarnowski. Uh, for being an outstanding non-major in a biology course. Uh, I first had Erica in my Bio 111 general biology course in fall 2020, and she really stood out with her dedication to class, basically coming to class, getting everything done, and, you know, um, excelling in her exams. Um, Erica really distinguished herself and has continued to do so in Biology 112 this semester, as I've heard from her instructors. Um, I should also mention that Erica distinguished herself even at high school, uh, where she was recognized as the top of her graduating class at Giles County High School. Um, and Erica intends to major in criminal justice with an emphasis on psychology and sociology, I believe. And uh, she's intent on a degree in law enforcement, uh, hoping to marry some of the discoveries that she's learned about in biology with her love of uh, forensic sciences. So we wish you all success, Erica, as you move forward in your academic career. Great job. The Hughes Evans Fleming Scholarship was established by Albert Dock and Charlotte Hughes. Dock spent a large portion of his life dedicated to directing the choirs at Martin Methodist College, and the music program flourished under his tenure at the college. 
This award is given to students who have and remain active members of the MMC choirs and who may be in need of additional financial assistance as they complete their degree programs. This year, the music faculty have selected two students to receive these prestigious awards. Our first recipient is Iris Lasseter. Iris is an alum of Marshall County High School. She has been a member of choirs and theatrical productions since the time she could walk. Here at Martin Methodist, she is a freshman music major studying voice and is an active participant in our choirs. So congratulations. Thank you. Our second recipient of the Hughes Evans Fleming Award this year is Sandy Freeman. Sandy Freeman is going to be a junior next year. She is a music major with a vocal emphasis and she has been very active in the choral program over the time that she's been here. So congratulations. Thank you. Hello, my name is Michelle Decker and I'm with the Division of Nursing and we have two Nursing Honors Awards that we give annually. The first one I'm going to award is to Mr. Caleb Briggs and this is for the highest GPA in the senior nursing class. And this is a medallion that if you don't mind, put it over your head there. And along with that, we want to be to give you an award that you can frame and have and we're just so proud of you. Near perfect. Highest okay. GPA. The second award I have to present today is the Nursing Leadership Award. This is an award that is voted on by all the nursing faculty with the student that we have, believe has displayed uh, the most amount of leadership in her tenure here. And today's award goes to Miss Nadia Jordan. I'd like to present you with that medallion that you can just put on over your neck there. And I also have a certificate that you might The E. Wayne Masters Bible Award this year goes to Timothy Paris. Timothy is a very worthy recipient. Uh, not only does Timothy know a lot of the facts about the study of religion, but even more importantly, he's able to communicate them clearly and effectively. In fact, through his work in the Student Resource Center, he has helped my students, many of my students, as they learn how to communicate all of the facts about the study of religion. So Timothy, congratulations and best wishes on your next step. We're very proud of you in the Department of Religion and at Martin Methodist College. Tyler Mutter, on behalf of the History Department at Martin Methodist College, I award you the William E. Rutherford History Award. Thank you. You're very welcome. We are very fortunate as in every year to have many, many outstanding students in the behavioral science program. Again, this year is no exception. Uh, we have four outstanding students that are winning our awards. The first student is Armando Bastin, who won two awards. Armando is a uh, co-major in uh, religion and philosophy and in uh, behavioral sciences, uh, human services. He won the James Cooper Advancement in Social Work Award. This award is given for an outstanding social worker, one of the first social workers to work in the state of Tennessee in mental health, uh, James F. Cooper, who was on our faculty and again was a mental health uh, individual for years and years and started several mental health uh, facilities in Middle Tennessee. Armando also won the Faith-Based Social Work Award because of his uh, co-major in the two fields. Three other outstanding students winning awards are Allison Ashley, who won the Behavioral Science Human Services and Counseling Award, which is given to the outstanding behavioral science in human services and counseling emphasis each year. The Behavioral Science Psychology Award went to Olivia Pope and Shelby Corsi. And these are all very outstanding students and uh, 
and even more outstanding individuals. Again, correct, congratulations from Behavioral Science uh, to these award winners. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Shanna Haynes in the biology department here at Martin Methodist College. And we have three recipients this year for the Marcus Nickel Outstanding Biology Major Award. Uh, the first one goes to Melanie Ponce, uh, who's a graduating senior. Um, and then we have a rising senior as well, Samantha Killian, and Azariah Kapilach, who's also a rising senior. So congratulations to all three of you. You are stellar biology majors and we're very proud of you. Belford and I represent the Alumni Association and I am going to present this year's um, Alumni Association Exemplary Student Awards um, to Omando Bastian and Abigail Smith and the president of the Alumni Association uh, Brad Butler will make the presentations. Hi everybody, I'm Brad Butler, President of the Alumni Association, and Omondo and Abigail, I want to present these to you. You're getting a $100, uh, $100 check and $100 credit at the bookstore, and you're also going to get a really neat desk plaque if, uh, if we can ever get them in. So. <laughs> be, be looking out in the mail, you'll be getting them soon, but guys, congratulations. It was a very, very hard choice, a lot of good applications. We couldn't narrow it down, so we're giving, giving it to both of you. So good guys, good job guys. Good luck in your future. Thank you. Hello Martin. I am Dr. Jennifer Ost, faculty sponsor of the Tennessee Z chapter of Alpha Pi National College Honor Society. It is my privilege to present the 2021 Alpha Pi Award. This award is given by the Tennessee Z chapter to the graduating senior member of the chapter with the highest GPA. This year's recipient is Abigail Madden. Abby is a business administration major in the management emphasis area. She was introduced, sorry, inducted into the Tennessee Z chapter of Alpha Chi in fall 2019, and she was elected co-vice president of the chapter for the 2019-2020 academic year. Thank you. Hello, Martin. I am Dr. Jennifer Ost, Assistant Professor of Mathematics and Assessment Coordinator for the Mathematics Program. It is my honor to present two awards on behalf of the Mathematics faculty. The first is the Howard T. Pacinger Award for Calculus. This award was established in 2015 to honor Professor Pacinger at the time of his retirement. The award is given to the best student in the first year calculus sequence. The 2021 award goes to Rui Mir. Rui is a bright and dedicated student who participates thoughtfully in class, asks good questions, and often thinks a few steps ahead of the class discussion. We are glad to have him in our classrooms. Congratulations, Rui. The second award from the mathematics program is the Outstanding Math Major Award. This award is given to the mathematics major that the faculty feel best represents what a mathematics student should be. The 2021 Outstanding Mathematics Major Award goes to Cyrus Harris. Cy consistently practices the habits of a successful student and his hard work earns him high grades. He has done especially well this year with his senior thesis project, tackling a difficult topic with diligence and enthusiasm and showing good instincts for writing the thesis paper. Thank you. Congratulations, Cy. This year, we're grateful to have Mr. Timothy Paris, who received the scholarship in 2018 uh, to come through Martin Methodist to excel in his academic studies, to serve as a leader with chapel, worship music, Brotherhood, Student Christian Association, worship intern, a local pastor, and many other areas of service. I'm, forgive me for not naming them all. But please join me in congratulating Timothy Paris and receiving his medallion and Yay. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Dr. Stanton Belford and member of the Alumni Council here at Martin Methodist. Today we are presenting the Exemplary Student Award to Haley Kyle and today we have the President of the Alumni Council, Brad, to present. Hi, I'm Brad Butler, President of the Alumni Association at Martin Methodist College. And Haley, I would like to present you with a $100 check and a $100 credit for the bookstore for the Exemplary Student Award. We had a lot of applicants and it was very hard to choose, but uh, we think you are well deserving. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you so much. This year's award winner for the Stanley Newton Academic Excellence from the Department of Criminal Justice is a young lady who's been in the department for the past four years. She has excelled academically, she's excelled in her coursework, and she's additionally excelled in her extracurricular activity, working with criminal justice research, along with being an officer in the Criminal Justice Club. I'm so excited to see where this young lady will go from here. This year's recipient belongs to Darby Dickinson. Good morning. We're here today to recognize one of our criminal justice students. Uh, we are here to present the Shelton Roberts Award for Moral, Moral Courage in Criminal Justice to Austin Carlton. Austin has been uh, with our program for the last several years. Um, Austin has an extensive uh, history here at Martin with working with the Criminal Justice Club. He's also a national championship shooter and the holder of not only the team awards, but a number of individual awards. Um, Austin has a career path he's planning on coming back for the Masters in Criminal Justice uh, in the fall and hopes to work in uh, some area of human trafficking. Uh, over the last uh, year or two, Austin has also worked with Hope for Justice uh, as an intern with human trafficking and assisting with their investigations. In recognition of Austin's efforts and all of his activities and actions with the Criminal Justice Club over the last several years, it is with great pride that we award Austin Carlton, the Shelton Roberts Award for Moral Courage and Criminal Justice. Congratulations and good luck. Good afternoon, my name is Guy. I teach public speaking and this year's winner of the speech award for this semester, Mr. Gunnar Turkeyan. Congratulations, buddy. Nice. You did a good Thank job. You. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bottolato, Assistant Professor of English and Physics, and I am presenting the Chemistry Award to Abigail Smith. Um, the Chemistry Award is awarded for excellence in academic performance, research, and service to the college, and Abby has excelled in all areas. We're also very proud that she got into the PhD program for chemistry at Ohio State. Congrats, Abby. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, i um, super excited today to um, give the Tom Reed Academic Award. Um, this award goes to our top female um, GPA athlete and our top male GPA athlete. Um, and Miss Abby Madden on our women's soccer team, who just won conference and is about to go to nationals, um, is our top female. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. And our top male is Mr. Austin Carlton, who just came off of a winning national championship um, on our clay target team. So congratulations to you, sir. Thank you. So these are our two winners um, for the Tom Reed Academic Award. Today we're at Summertown Elementary School to present the award for Outstanding Student Teacher. When classes resumed this past mm -hmm. fall, after schools have been closed for many months due to COVID, Classroom teachers and administrators were in a very stressful situation, having to do many things they had never done before uh, concerning virtual learning and many things that were outside their comfort zone. Uh, student teaching stressful anyway for any teacher, but those who had to student teach this fall were faced with lots of extra obstacles and responsibilities, and our award recipient was able to juggle these responsibilities beautifully. Her principal told me, we could not have had school this fall if Brooklyn had not been here. She trained teachers how to use technology by virtual learning. She prepared instructional videos for parents and had step-by-step -step instructions so they could help their children virtual learning. She assisted other teachers with lesson plans and how to use the equipment. She did all these things while still maintaining all of the paperwork and duties 
required of a student teacher. So it's no surprise that even though she completed her student teaching during the middle of a school year, she immediately had a job offer and became a real teacher that very next day. So on behalf of the Division of Education, we are pleased to be here today with a class of very excited five-year-olds, as well as Principal Mabry, to yes. present the Outstanding Student <laughs> Teacher Award to Brooklyn Malutin. Thank you, yay! 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 Thank you, Dr. Smith. I appreciate it. So thankful. They're the best. Hi, I'm Tyler Cox, Vice President for Enrollment here at Martin Methodist. It's my honor today to present the Elon Vital Award, which is French for a vital force and an impulse of life. The student that represents that is an education major and a four-year student athlete here at Martin Methodist. It's my honor to present this award to Mr. Evan Hill. Thank you. Hey, I'm Tyler Cox, Vice President for Enrollment here at Martin Methodist. It's my honor today to award uh, our members of our Thomas Martin Society. Thomas Martin Society uh, is a committee here on campus that help us with our new student recruitment, with campus tours, with visitors on campus. These students truly represent what being a Martin Methodist College graduate and Red Hawk are all about. Today we would like to represent uh, Ashton Moran, Elena Ramirez, Larissa Perdomo, Ambrea Daly, and Reese Ashurst is our graduating class of the 2021 Thomas Martin Student Ambassadors. So congratulations to all of you who were honored today. I hope you in the audience, I hope you uh, fellow students, I hope faculty, staff, everybody who watches will join me in giving our honorees a round of applause. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.